I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Hey guys. I have not been live in a while. Probably because it's it's been a rough couple of weeks. My uh, depression symptoms have just have taken over to the point where I don't want to do anything ever. Ever. I just don't. So, hi Paula. Um, I It's been a while since I've worn yeah. makeup and I decided, you know what, it's the last day of work for me this week until next week. I don't go back to work after tonight till Monday. So, let me try to make myself feel good. Also, I don't know what's going on with my hair. My hair has reached this point where it's long and I don't feel like straightening it. And it doesn't look good curly because I've gotten it chemically straightened several times. And I use heat to straighten it. So it just, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out for me. And I'm joined with Grayson. <laughs> He's so funny. Yeah. He's over here cracking me up. First, I am going to put on my primer here. I've done everything else. I'm going to make it pretty quick because I still, my goal is to do this in like 20 minutes because I still have to go make the kids dinner before I go to work and something for me for lunch. So let's get this done pretty quick. So this is my attempt at forcing myself to human and adults. Mama. <gasps> you are so funny. He's just talking away. Hey, Nidra, how are you? I'm not set. And I think I'm going to do my huge, my minimal here. <laughs> I'm gonna take some bittersweet, which is a splurge cream eyeshadow. It is a pinky salmon. And kids, wow, these dark circles under my eyes. Ugh. Just cancel them out. He's just digging through my stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my mixture here. I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. It fell down in there. I'm going to take um, my um, skin perfecting concealer. And then tart shape tape. So, uh, I'm really just most excited to do the mascara. That's really. I was looking through my timeline and in my unique groups and keep scrolling past, you know, the mess, the 4D pictures. And that is what got me excited to do my makeup. So, it's driving me crazy. Alrighty. This is just tart shape tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Tell me what else. Just really correcting the the red areas. Hey Sarah, how are you? It's almost Friday. So hey, I just bought this one. Please don't ruin it so fast. I'm just kidding. I'm take my damp and beauty blender and just blend it all. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we know. 
that you can't have anything powder because you destroy it. I know. Wow. I know you're driving me crazy. Oh, now you're gonna take that one. So, I don't know if you all read my earlier post, but I'll share it now. Uh, Friday means that I don't have to work. Friday means I'm off for the weekend. After tonight, I don't go back until Monday. I'm so happy for that. So I guess it's kind of like my Friday. <sighs> now I think you just like to take them so you can put them back. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Oh, definitely not. He is so wild that uh, he had... We took Lily to her dentist appointment. He had his Tuesday. They, Lily was supposed to go too, but she had a um, field trip, so she went to that instead. She went today. He hated it. He doesn't like going to the dentist. Um, So Lily has quite a few loose teeth. She's at that age. Oh, yeah, right. He obviously thought it did. And that poor dental hygienist face. Ugh. Only my child. Only my child. He's... He's so wild. He does not care. And I jokingly tell people that I could leave him at the edge of the forest and he would wander in without me. He wouldn't He wouldn't even think twice about going in without me. Yeah, but he wanted it as a snack. And, uh, just, <gasps> I just bought this and he ripped the tip off. <laughs> no. Why are you causing trouble? <laughs> yes, you are. Don't tell me no. <laughs> there, the tip of my beauty blender. You're exactly why I can't have nice things. <sighs> Jesus, be with me. Mm, trouble boy. Trouble boy. Yeah, you are a trouble boy. I don't even, it's been a while since I've gone live, so I don't even like to know what to talk about. R.I.P. R.I.P. Beauty Blender. And I just bought it. They're not cheap. They're like 20 bucks. And you're supposed to get a new one like every three months, but I don't. When the old one just won't come clean anymore, that's when I buy a new one. Oh, this highlighter makes me feel a little better. having anxiety about going to work. I don't want to. But this highlighter makes me feel a little better. Now you're just digging into my makeup just to dig in. To see what you can grab out.
please help me. Hi, Amy. Let me get my eyebrow pencil out. I'm so tired. Pop my baby. I'm gonna fix my eyebrows. Hey, no, you're not allowed to have the beauty blender. You broke it. Oh, doing my pre order still. For so was Grayson <laughs> for 4D. 4D mascara is back on pre-order for the second yeah, launching. Yeah, yeah. You guys, we did something phenomenal yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> with it. And it went on back order within three hours of launching. And now it's on pre-order. That brow's not bad looking, I guess. No, you're... Thank you. You're not allowed to have the beauty blender because you broke it. You ripped the tip right off. You bad boy. <laughs> You're so silly. He just took off with my glass the foundation <laughs> bottles. Okay, they're not bad. I'll keep them, I guess. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know about the hardest part of brows for anybody else, but the hardest part is my toddler jumping around while I'm trying to draw them on. Still, they don't look bad. Hey, Mara. How you doing? So he has just disorganized everything I had in here. Jesus, Grayson. Okay. Oh, just so unmotivated. So now let me throw on some eyeshadow. Mm. I don't recall what shade it is. It's just this top one here, it's a lighter brown. We're gonna start to build that one in the crease with this Farah 35E brush. It's super cute, I love this. It makes it comfortable, you know? I still, you know what, actually, I was just gonna do the mascara on live and film the putting on the base products. For YouTube, but we could see how well that went. I'm gonna take this blending brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go into the second shade, which is a little darker. I don't know what that's called. Hey, get down. And put that in the crease and just kind of build it. Hi. 
Hi. Uh, please don't fall. Hi, Ellie. Oh, God, you're in trouble, boy. Blend those out a little bit. I'm going to take this first one, this first glittery color, on my ring finger and just kind of pack it on the entire lid. So there's that. I'm going to grab a, this is a ruby brush it's kind of like a pencil brush and I'm gonna take the lighter color and take it along the lower lash line all the way into the inner corner do the same on both sides I'm gonna take the darker color and just do the outer half And then blend it with this blending brush, kind of. Get rid of parse edges. I don't know what you're doing. Um, he is now throwing my makeup into his crib. You want out? Hold on, let me open the door for him. There we go. There we go. I don't know what he's doing. Now I'm going to take the Ofra highlight I use. And I'm going to dig into the inner corner here. Brighten that up some. And this is a Firma 203 brush. Brighten up the inner corner. And then under the brow. So crazy wild. So there's that. Oh. So in my Ipsy bag that came yesterday, I got this Pixie um, Endless Silky Eye Pen in Rose Glow. And I love it. It looks so cute. So I wanted to put some of this on. If I can get it open. cute oh god I love that and it's so creamy let me get on the mirror here so I'm gonna put it in my water line which I don't usually do and I'm gonna do it up in the lash line. You can't really tell it's up in the lash line, but the thought was there. But I really like this. This is super cute. All right. Oh my God, it wasn't even warming it the whole time. I'm so off my game. <sighs> Dear Lord Jesus, let me uh, curl my lashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to take my, fave, my 4D Epic Mascara, the pre-order list. And people, I've been reading their tips, and a lot of people like 
clear off the one, get all the excess off. So you dig in and then up, you dig in. Up. Yeah, this, that's definitely made a difference. So you take it and you wiggle at the base and then you pull up. And you're supposed to twirl at the same time. So dig in at the base, twirl. Bam, that's one coat. And they say they don't dip back in the tube for the other eye. I know I'm super quiet I'm sorry just not feeling like myself this past week or two I'm not sure what it is hormonal or things like that nothing has really changed in my life that just been really feeling bummed you know you want out you want out what do you got in your mouth Well, I don't have it, and you shouldn't have it in your mouth. That's my whole life, pretty much, is playing the game, what's in Grayson's mouth? We may never know. So now I'm going to do a second coat here. I just really do love this mascara. I wish I would have warmed it up some first, but meh. You know, I always wondered how you say her name. Is it Sherry? Cher? I would have just assumed it was Sherry, but hey, welcome. It's kind of like my name. Concepcion. If you've never heard my name said before, it's Concepcion. Um, when I was younger... I um, was taught in Head Start, that's how my teachers couldn't say Concepcion, so they taught me that that's Concepcion is how you say Connie. You're not supposed to have cups back here. Close the bathroom door.
Cotton. And then I went home and I'm like, Mom, I know how to spell Connie. And I showed her I did it. She's like, that is not how you spell Connie. So she had to have a talk with my teachers. Like, if you don't want to call her Concepcion, we call her Connie. Just go ahead and have her write that out. This is how you do it. But, and I don't remember what age I was when I found out how I got my name. So, my mom wanted to name me Stella, Estella Nicole. I'm the first, I'm her oldest, and my dad's oldest too, um, of three kids. So, she said, after 23 hours of labor, my dad asked her, you know, I want to name her after my mother. My name is Concepcion Maru Uribe. And she, um, she's like, you can name her whatever you want. That's how I got my name. I'm named after my dad's mom, my grandmother, who um, passed away back in 2011. My goal was to one day get to go to Mexico to meet her. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, but my, my uh, abuelo did get to come here, and I have met him once. He's the cutest little man. I love him so much. Um, I wish that I could spend more time with him, and I wish that I was more fluent in Spanish. I'm still trying to teach myself more Spanish. Oh, but, uh, yeah. that was a tangent about nothing nobody asked for. I don't know why. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out, guys. You were here with me when I learned. So, this side always gets length, the sides get thickness. I don't know what that's about. I have no idea. Um, it's just how my eyelashes decided to work. So... setting spray and just buff it all in here get it all into the skin and I still have redness here it just wasn't covered all right thank you for joining me during depression hour I did not have mean for it to be so you know, I'm just not I'm not feeling myself I'm trying to get back to it I'm pretty sure it's hormonal um, I know nobody wants to hear it, but um, it's got time in a month, unfortunately, which only lasted like a day, not even like an hour. I still take my birth control from breastfeeding. I haven't switched over yet because I don't want to deal with that. That is the most stressful, hardest time for me is um starting a new birth control in that first month because you're switching it so like right now i think it's the progesterone only i don't think there's any estrogen i, I maybe i have it backwards but it's called the mini pill and it's for your breastfeeding you know and it's um and i he's been weaned for three months now so he hasn't i don't need to be on this birth control i can switch over but so switching birth control to putting hormones in your body and um that you already make to prevent you know uh, pregnancy but then that first month is it's you have to take it every day consistently um and my day take anywhere between like i'll go and when i'm brushing my teeth and i take the rest of my pills i take it now but when i'm off i don't take it until like nine because that's when i'm going to bed i take it before before i leave for work or before i go to bed but you have to be consistent with the time in the first month and then you take it every day otherwise it's not effective and it's just too stressful so i 
don't know right now if I want another baby. It's like where my depression has led me. Um, I think in my heart I do, but I know for financial and we're trying to move and I want to go to nursing school that having another baby means putting going to nursing school on hold longer than I already am. Um, I'm waiting for Grayson to start school that way I don't have to worry about child care and I can go to school because right now I just can't afford it um, and having another baby means putting that all on hold and it's not so much financially we always figure out a way to make it um, we both work very hard we have two very good jobs um, one each not both and then I do this but yeah I don't know. Hey, Gloria. So my goal is to stop taking birth control pill by the beginning of next year, just to be off of it completely and allow my hormones to do their thing. Um, so I've left it to Ken. Ken doesn't want any more kids. And I said, okay, well, cause I just, it's depression. Just like, it's been, it's been bad. It's been a rough couple weeks, just, this is the first time I've done my makeup in like a week and a half, and I didn't even really want to do it. I don't want to go to work, I don't want to take care of the kids, I don't want to do anything that requires me to do anything other than breathe. That's all I want to do. And even that's work. So yeah, but I'm leaving it up to Ken. If he doesn't want more kids after the first of the year, then he needs to go get a vasectomy. Because I need to start thinking about my health. And I'm quite sure. Oh, I love you too. And I'm quite sure that taking birth control isn't helping my mental health. Um. <sighs> All right. I'm done. I'm going to go and make dinner for work and make sure the kids have dinner I'm covered in glitter. I'm going to be sparkly tonight. Hi, Anna Lita. So, yeah, that's it. I love this stuff, though. This stuff makes me a little happy. I suggest everybody get it. Get on my pre-order list. It's $29. Um, you can have it shipped to your house at $5 plus your state tax. For here in Michigan, that is thirty-four fifty total, because we have a six percent tax rate. I know Ohio has a six point two five. Other states have other things, so shipping is five fifty flat, no matter where you ship it, unless you spend over seventy-five dollars, in which case shipping is free. There's always that. The kudos is still available, which I really love. I feel like this is really dark. Okay, I'm going. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll talk to everybody later.